Hi, this is Amelia and we're here at Campus Technology in Boston. This week we're looking at the latest trends, threats, and solutions for cybersecurity in education. In higher ed, there's an awful lot of data. We really work like many cities. We have medical information, we have research data, we have employee data, we have payment card industry data, and other personal information. All of those are very valuable to cyber criminals. The more data that they can get in one hall, the more they can sell that information for. You spend years and years doing research, and someone comes in and steals that information from you, that's a lot of your hard work that's gone. I think a lot of people know that there's a problem and don't necessarily understand how to go about fixing it. Adding a second layer of security requires an extra step, but it goes a long way in securing the user and the employee or the student. It's basically making it so that if a criminal gets one piece of your puzzle, they're not going to get the whole thing. Two-step verification is a great way to protect people's passwords, and that's something that we recommend you know, across their entire online life. If somebody like a criminal gets in and gets the username and password, they still need the other factor in order to log into your account. Encryption is certainly becoming more and more requested as well. I think encryption is a great control. I think it's really helping us, but we have to be aware that it's being used by a whole range of, of folks and, you know, understanding, okay, well then, how are we going to deal with the fact that some of this malicious traffic might be encrypted is important too. We need to, to really be the trusted advisor that people think can work with them to, to help protect them and to have a real conversation with folks about what's important to them and what's not, how you can help them and how they can help you. By having a risk assessment, you're able to map out what you have and not over or under protect. They need to understand where the important information is that they're trying to protect. And then the other part goes back to community awareness. They really need to make sure that people know what they should do and how to do it making sure that they're truly aware of what the risks are, what they need to do to defend against those, and, and how to actually do it. If we could just have the whole community work together, it's such a great force multiplier and it helps everybody. Yeah.